All right, so this is number two of the uh, Hobby Boss 118 uh, Huey B, UH1 Huey B, and um, <clears throat> it's an excellent model. It's, of course, the same as the 21st Century or Merit um, 118 hum, uh, Hueys. They, uh, they're like the CIA Silver one and the Shark Mouth and the other one. Same, I believe they're all just the same body. Now, I, of course, wish that they had made this one of the uh, E models or later <clears throat> because that's the longer model. This is the shorter model with the single window on the side. Uh, I think the, set, the larger one is the model 208, but I could be mistaken. It could be 212. <clears throat> anyway, it's excellent. I got it for, with shipping and everything, about 85 bucks, which I think is a... A great deal. Uh, I'm obviously going to customize it to my liking. I'm going to make it into one of the lar longer bodied helicopters and um, I'm going to paint it this nice gloss dark gray color. So anyway, I wanted to show everybody what you get in the model and since 21st Century did the Huey, I really wish they would come out with a model for the Cobra helicopter. That would be awesome to customize and build from scratch. So anyway, Go ahead and take the lid off. This is huge. This box is about two and a half feet long. All right, so here's what we got. We got the body of the helicopter. <clears throat> All nice and wrapped up in plastic. Everything's protected. That's the left side. We've got the right side. <clears throat> And I'm sure you all recognize this if you're familiar with it from the uh, 21st century model. Comes with all the interior parts. I'll be changing a few things around, but generally this is what it's going to look like. Seats and missile launchers. Controls. And uh, the console panel. This is, of course, an old helicopter from the 60s. I believe it was created in the 50s, the Huey was originally. So obviously it's not high-tech, but uh, I'm going to make it look good anyway. And one thing I really love about buying the model is that you get all the parts. I bought helicopters that are, like, missing the tails, propellers, obviously. But it's so nice to get all of the parts complete. And at a good price. This is the rotor blade or the rotor shaft and the um the little um let's see the tail and this is goes to the uh, propeller this holds the propeller in place uh this is the little front cannon and uh i like these these fill in the screw holes on the better quality helicopters and toys you notice that they fill in the screw holes so that they don't have these unrealistic screw holes in them uh i've noticed mostly gi joe Chap May, things like that. Don't fill in the screw holes. But I really like that they do on this one and others. Just adds an extra layer of re realism to it. And I'm all about the realism. And then we've got the skids and the floor. And I'm gonna cut this right about here to lengthen it. I've already got the 3D design printed. You guys have probably seen my other uh, 118, uh, one where I changed this into one of the larger models. I'm gonna do the same. It's going to be a little different. I don't think I'm going to have lights on this one, but I might get crazy. Uh, missile launchers. And then, of course, these spectacular decals. Man, if I could just have like a decal maker, that would be amazing. And then, of course, the instructions, which I may or may not use. Ah, oh, it's like a book. Very cool. Yeah, mine's not going to look anything like that, but nonetheless, it's a very cool-looking model. Something I love, something elegant about the design of the Huey that I really like, like the way that the tail slants up, up to here. When I do my models, I study these things very deeply to see what they look like, to see if I can, you know, exploit certain things. Uh, I'm going to cut the helicopter right here, and then move this forward 55 millimeters. I'm going to cut the, the tail, um, excuse me, the skids. And I'm actually going to use one of these, I found it somewhere in the last one, connectors to add the middle part to the skids. Chop it right there, add the middle, and glue it back together. So anyway, I look forward to that. Oh, here's the uh, clear glass. Oh yeah, that's one thing I wish that they had done is, you'll notice on the 21st century version that these upper glass covers are this really cool light blue, kind of blue-green color. And on this, they're just clear. So I kind of wish they'd 
gone the extra mile with that, but what can you do? Anyway, thanks for watching.